Hello you sexy little swines, I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com and after years of waiting, Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics finally gave fans the first glimpse at Marvel's Avengers. It's the first game in a multi-year deal between the publisher and Marvel Entertainment, and the second to release on this generation of consoles following Insomniac's Spider-Man title from 2018. In the wake of Spidey's release, fans, you and I included, poured tirelessly over every detail that alluded to a wider Marvel universe outside of Spidey's own world. Insomniac included dozens of easter eggs and references, but by far the biggest was Avengers Tower, a landmark that illuminated the New York skyline and gave fans encouragement that maybe something bigger could be bubbling underneath the surface. And in the months following the release of Marvel's Spider-Man, creative director Brian Inatar spoke of the title as being the gaming equivalent of 2008's Iron Man, which of course went on to launch the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Another couple of months later, a Marvel officially christened the Spider-Man PS4 game as being part of the Marvel Gamerverse, with various tie-in media releasing soon after. Now, although the trailer for Marvel's Avengers doesn't explicitly declare there being a connection between it and Spider-Man, its setting does telegraph it quite blatantly. During the events of the first Spider-Man game, when Peter takes a photo of Avengers Tower, we're treated to the following dialogue and my best Spider-Man impression. Avengers Tower, so cool! Too bad they're never around to use it, they're on the west coast or something, probably surfing. That's my Spider-Man. It's, it's, all, it's all I've got. I can't do accents, I can barely do mine! Anyway, while many at the time believed this to be a nod to the actual West Coast Avengers, a team initially led by Hawkeye in the comics, it now seems as though it was our first clue that Insomniac and Crystal Dynamics' games were going to be linked. That's because the A Day featured in the trailer takes place in San Francisco, which is located on the West Coast of the US. Unsurprisingly, A Day was also meant to unveil the West Coast Avengers to the world in this new mythos. It's far from concrete, but with the bulk of Marvel's Avengers taking place after the offending incident, there's certainly scope for Spidey to appear. Take into account the touted exclusive for the PS4 with the Avengers, and it seems as though this is one partnership fans will want to keep an eye on. I knew there was more to that West Coast thing, I just knew it. So this is the latest hint that the two games are indeed connected. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you looking forward to a Marvel Gamerverse or would you prefer these properties to be isolated and their own standalone experiences? Either way, while you're down there, could you give us a like, share, subscribe and head over to whatculture.com for more list news like this every single day. But either way, I've been Josh. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thwip, thwip, baby.